This is called a talking tub. And I designed it many years ago to work with children to develop their oracy, to help them and support them to share with me what they're thinking about and what their theories of the world are. You can buy these boxes empty, which is great because you can then fill them yourself, or you can buy them full. Just makes life a little bit easier. They're black and white to make them different. They've got covered with question marks because I want children to see that this is about thinking. It's not about the answers. Let's have a look inside a full talking tub. This particular one I've got in my hand is actually all around the cultural elements of Scotland. So we've got a variety of tartans in here because we want children to understand there's not one type of tartan, but many. We want them to understand some of the elements of the objects that you might find in Scotland. So we've put in here a tea towel for you to have a look at some of the animals that are there. We've got antler, because it's very important to us that we see antler as a resource. We've got the flags of Scotland. Very important for children to realise there isn't just one flag, but many that are linked to a country. We've got the music. We've got mystery objects that are to get children to inquire and to question. This is called a spurtle. It's made for making porridge in Scotland. We've got something about the wildlife. This is a beautiful pheasant's feather that we have in Scotland. And it's important, again, that children have multi-sensory materials inside these talking tubs. We've got a wee highland cow. And, of course, you have to have golf. Now, all of that in itself is lovely, but we also need to celebrate visual things in terms of the language. So we have the Gaelic, which is our native language in this country. The two-dimensional pictures that are in here, the photographs that we've supplied you with, have everything from creative projects like the Celtic ring patterns to beautiful music that we love, like Flowers of Scotland. We've got photographs, two-dimensional, of the wildlife that we have more stereotypical in terms of understanding of our music, the food that we eat, a map of our country to show how large it actually is, ideas of people in the past, looking at history, the stunning mountains that we have in the north. Modern day, looking not just at traditional things about Scotland, but understanding that actually we have a very modern culture, which is full of aspiration and innovation. The last and final piece, which is in fact probably the most important, is this card. Because in this sheet, what I'm doing is I've laid out for you how this links to a curriculum, how we can use it as part of our planning framework when we work with children. First column over here is our possible line of development. What elements may be coming from this, like clothing, cuisine, location, cultural identity? The second column here is what objects in the talking tub link to that possible line of development? Over here, these are my big ideas or my learning outcomes that I can then link in. And this sheet in itself could become your backdrop planning. Because all of the objects that you put in your talking tub have been intentional, they've been thought through, they've been planned by the adult. So when we offer them to children, we understand that we're framing and provocating their learning. And it's that element that we can then record in our talking and thinking floor books. We have a whole variety of talking tubs available. This one is on Scotland. Please check out the website to see the full list of titles.